What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are watching episode 6 of The Boys. Now I know what you're thinking. Where the hell is episode 5? I recorded it, and then I listened to it, and then there was a lot of buzzing, and you couldn't hear what I was saying. So the audio fucked up, and I can't post it. So now I'm just moving on to episode 6. So, last episode... Huey went with Annie to the Christian event thing and she later ended up accusing him of like using her and that's when he let her know about Robin which was pretty good but he still like didn't tell the whole truth but it was good for the moment. What else? We've, we saw Super Babies. Weird as fuck. But I fucked with it. Um, and then the girl, that friend she was trying to protect, she died by one of the soups and then ended up coming back. I don't understand how, but I guess now that she's alive, she's going to be like part of their group or whatever. So we'll find out in this episode. So let's get into it. with Starlight, and uh, I support her in every way. What I want to know? Who's that dude that stuck his in her face? She should that in the hole. Okay. Yeah, the dude would be fucked if they knew that was him. I said that's what they focused on. Hey, I have the tiger. You Before joining the Seven, which hero led a search and rescue team after oh my the God. 1994 Isn't it your job to do this kind of stuff? Lamp lighter. Thank you. Yeah, I had all the trading cards. Of course you did. Oh. Hi, uh, Anthony. Huey's best looking friend since fourth grade. <laughs> Hi. He reminds me of the dude from All American. You look familiar. Is that Is him? She's a uh, new in town. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So what are we drinking? The same goes for you. I've been worried, asshole. Ever since Robin, you you weren't answering your phone. Like for all I knew, you were chugging Drano. Well, he is staying low key since he killed yeah. Translucent. Oh, no, really? I, I should have called. You think? <laughs> your fresh start is way out of your league. I mean, you know that, right? I am aware, yes. <laughs> Leave Huey alone. Yeah, great, man. Live your life. Bedroom, the baseball hall of fame, you might call it. Hasn't changed a bit. Oh, there they are, the Tigers. It's my little team. I played shortstop. Of course, uh, I couldn't show everything I had, but... I feel like that room or, like, that house is just staged or something. <laughs> this is just... Uh, Not, like, I don't think it's his actual childhood home. Really? Or maybe I'm just yeah, tripping. It's so special to come back. Randy Setdeck. Who's Randy Setdeck? He's, he's over there. Randy, why? You fucking asshole. Uh, Amateur fuck. What just happened? <laughs> Gift wrapping it as polio vaccine. Are you telling me that God's not reaching up the twats of American girls and blessing babies? But can you leave God out of this? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. So no hero was born. A tremendous fucking TED talk here and this Frenchie. Can you control her, please? I do not control her. Do you see what I'm dealing with? Well, Let her do her own thing. We got bought for child endangerment, drug trafficking. You no. Know? No, no, no. Not if you attach to that hand, no. That was scary. Well, you know, all of this uh, is find out. Ah, you've been burned. It's not safe out there for you. Him hey, right. You've got to fucking stay put, son. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, I'm off. Okay. I mean, I'll it's just, that uh, or you die, Frenchie. Right? The phone's been tits up for years. I am. What to the CIA lady? No, we're gonna go on a little detour. You love it. Come on. That makes me think he might not love it. Who the fuck are you gonna get to replace me? I'd like to see what dick that is. 
she got fired? Yeah. Hell yeah. What could go wrong, I thought? You were playing to your base. At least I don't have to kiss your ass anymore. You're two faced anyway. Men. I would like you to take this in the constructive spirit that it is intended. Okay. You are a selfish, arrogant child. Um, how are you supposed to take that in a good way? I bet you watched a lot of Queen Maid's movies, right? But nobody's famous alone. So why don't you cut the petulant diva shit? Show a little fucking gratitude and let us do our job. Um, rude. No. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't mean to be ungrateful, but no red carpets, no reality TV, and no Noxima commercials. And I want my old uniform back. I'm gonna save people. At least she's standing up for herself. Consider your position in the seven. Well, I think it's great that you want to tell the truth. I just don't know to whom you're referring. Oh, I think you know. I think you've known for a long time. Thank you so much for coming, Starlight. That's what the Green Crusader Initiative is all about. To respect what's, what's beautiful in the world. What's up? <laughs> so. Well, it, <laughs> that's kind of how I figured out. Can I, can I stop you right there for a second? What if we ixnay the gun violence? Maybe make it a click more upbeat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, little bro, I know you the fastest. Go! No. No? What is going on with you, man? Here comes the A-Train! He's gonna take more of that stuff? What? I don't, uh... You guys were in Teenage Kicks together? I haven't seen her in years, so, you know. Lied about their whole relationship. You're trending, right? I know that you might not get this, but it's not an act. I'm just trying to be honest. Okay, yeah. You look like she did it for fame. When I was younger, I read your autobiographies. You really stood for something. And now, pretty sure that was just written by the marketing guys. That's talking? She likes you quick, huh? I'll call BuzzFeed. I wonder if she didn't buy the hotel. We now boom bing. Boom bing. Look, I'll tell you what I can. I can possibly tattoo fuck no on your ass. <laughs> That's the best I can do. You know. And she she's out of all there. All right, you want something where we're going? I swear, their moments are the best. You don't do it anymore. What? You know that feeling you get when you're flexible, take a pounding, and they're the reason behind like 98% of my life decisions. You're doing good, Huey. And you're a good cop. Mm hmm. Well, there we are. Church. The writer, uh, I work in marketing. Uh, there's this one hero who shall remain nameless, but has ice powers. Ice princess. I'm <laughs> not allowed to say. Anyway, she uh, took a liking to me. Big time. What kind of knobber falls for a soup? Anyway, we were, uh, you know, being intimate. Huey's falling for a soup. She climaxed and accidentally turned into ice. As you can imagine, um... 
it snapped off. The crazy thing is... Okay, then. I still miss her. It's like... Do you have something you'd like to share? No, no. Apologies. Please do, uh... Continue the escapades. We don't make jokes or judgments <laughs> here. Why don't you take the talking stick and tell us your story? It's all a defense mechanism, but you don't have to do that here. This is a safe space. I said I'm good. Time to move on. Don't push him or he's going to call you a cunt. You back off. You're a bunch of pathetic soup worshipping cunts. I bet you'd thank a soup if they shat on your mum's... Oh, Did they put her next to the dude? Right? Yeah, I'm running late. Can you walk with me? Yeah, sure. Hey, look, I brought a little present for your little guy. Oh. In the right place, but look, my heart was. And it's just that, that damn ocean, man. They wouldn't let this me... is not about the dead dolphin. This is about Starlight. Mm -hmm. Starlight? What, are you <laughs> what about Starlight? Everybody seems to want to know women speak up, so we need to get ahead of it. Okay, there may have been a misunderstanding. I know that. Can't you just... You know, handle it like obviously like not. Do. This is the way we are handling things now. Though at the time I believed that our encounter was consensual, I now realize that um, I misread the moment. Our new movie, Insurrection, it's really exciting. It's my first uh, movie. Seth Rogen. Cinematic Universe, uh, the BCU. New York, the hard suits. The way you brush your hand up against that Wall Street guy, brother, that shit right there, now that was ruthless. I mean, Vought dropped you like a hot potato afterwards, which I think is some bullshit. But with the SEC... Who the fuck are you? Oh, he was with the Seven at one point? Why don't you take a peep and see? I just want to know you don't hate me. I don't really know you. That's sad. Hey, wait, um... DVD player. Bye. And he should try. Call you next week. Okay. You alright? My wife, Becca, used to hum the Spice Girls. She drove me around the fucking band, you know. All day long, walking around the house humming. She was happy. I don't know why she was happy with me, but... So that's happy. why he likes more nose about Spice Girls. Wait, so the girl in the dream was Becca. Who was the other girl that they oh, mentioned? Jesus. What the fuck? Not long after that, she came to sit right here. I know this because she got tagged in that security camera right there. That's where he was watching her, the thing at the beginning of the other episode. She sat here for three hours. And nobody's seen her since. Either Homeland had killed her. Well, she killed herself, same difference. I don't know, that kind of makes me think that maybe she might not be dead. Or maybe she actually is. You see... I question a lot now. I know what it's like to lose someone. You and me. We're in this together. Especially not the soup. I don't know what I thought happened to his Just remember. wife. Like, I know she disappeared or whatever, but I didn't know, like, why. I love photos of parents you never met, toys you never played with, hardy boy books that you never read. And then I asked... Hardy boys. 
They made that a show. Fake fucking bullshit meant it to you. Just like her. Cut. Perfect. So great. So are we done? Uh, yes. My right. immediate switch up. She's a little more trusting now. Until we get what we came for. Fuck you. The skin just looked down. like it just flapped. Okay, listen. I was a field medic. Good. Now, do you have any bandages or a splint? No, I don't have a goddamn splint. Uh. Butcher. I take back what I said about the trusting. Butcher. Where are you? Shake Shack. Right, yeah, that's it. We are. We are friends. Can you ask them to turn that off, please? I'm gonna need five minutes, okay? Yeah, we're uh, Invasion of privacy, dude. Y'all are ass. Never turn up to your work. I was bank. worried about you. I had a bad night. Hello. Big fan. Be with you in a minute. Wow. Now we gotta kill him. No, we don't have to kill him. Why was your first thought to kill him? Was that tape with a wooden spoon? <laughs> Creative. serial killer. Love it. Right then. I'm gonna feel bad if she breaks his other hand. There's a camp in, a, in the jungle. Yeah. With red rays behind it? What does that mean? It's the flag of the Shining Light Liberation Army. Frenchie? You're dating a terrorist. <laughs> Is this true? Um. Never would have thought of that. Okay. What's so bad about the blanket? Did he like kill his parents or something? There must be more to all of this. <laughs> Maybe it well yeah, I would say probably both. So they smuggle in a top shelf extremist recruit and pump her up a compound. Just like a rest. How many times do I have to fucking say it? Hey? Eh? Come on, come. I know you understand me, please. Poor please. Frenchie. Tell them who you are. So she's not willingly a terrorist. Fire up your ass. Your fingers will give us a little wave at your throat. Yeah? Fuck off, wanker. <laughs> Look, sometimes it makes me feel bad, but he's funny as fuck. He's speaking your truth! <laughs> I'm in full support of women and their ongoing bravery. 
proof that Vought's injecting babies right across the country and something even more fucking diabolical. Worse than dosing babies. And that's just saying with these cunts, there ain't no rock bottom. We need to keep a count of how many times this man says cunt. Not so fast. I can give you everything you want on this list. Except? Except Homelander. Homelander's the main point. You know what he's done. For thousands of people, if you push him too hard. You're fucking scared. I'm fucking terrified. And you should be too. Maybe he is. He just uses his sarcasm and shit to cover it. Butcher! Butcher! It's your choice. You give me a nod and we go to the airport right now. With your Frenchie being supportive. Fuck him. We don't need him. We got everyone and everything we need right here in this room. We'll take down Vault ourselves. Hell yeah. yeah. Where's Huey? I'm sorry, the uh, elevator was out. Probably you uh, freaking traitor. Oh, I, I... I would never try and read you. He said you were looking for a um, French guy and a black guy and a skinny white guy, British guy. Where are these from? I know there's no reward, but I was hoping you could put in a word for me at Vought. He I'll take won't. any posting. Uh, Low five figures would be fine. I just want to be one of the good guys again. We're going to the wrong side, buddy. Let's just go. Yeah, no, I can uh, learn how to play with steel drum. You can get cornrows. <laughs> how about tonight? Book that ticket. Are, are we talking about this? For me, New York has been such an endless... Not Robin again. Except for you. Okay. Finally. Honestly, I lucky thought that they were gonna like wait until they got their first kiss. I thought that was you. Huh. Oh, uh, oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt. No. Oh. Hi, I'm Annie. Missions of power. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, if I'm perfectly honest. No one told you to street. sit, Butch. What's he up to? I think he's on a mission. And what do you think she's gonna do when she finds out you murdered Translucent? When she finds out. Give him a best. Where's your friend go? So he's, but you're literally turning on him, dude. Well, like, in a way. They're still in a good place, but. <laughs> so what? Is Butcher just gonna, like, out him now since he's mad that Yui actually has feelings for Annie? It's like, I get you don't like some soups because of what happened to Becca, but not all of them are bad. But we did find out that the other dude, we thought he was gonna help, and then he ended up going to Homelander with that shit. So it was fun while it lasted, while they didn't know who killed Translucent, but now he has the faces. So they're screwed. 
I don't know what else they can do. Like, how are they going to hide from him? I mean, maybe the vacation thing with Annie would be like a good plan for Huey. What about the rest of them? I don't know. I'm just ready to see if Butch is going to actually tell Annie about him killing Translucent. Because I'm going to feel so bad for Huey in that moment, but I mean, he acts like she wasn't going to find out anyway. Like, that's a bad thing to keep from someone. But we'll figure out in the other episodes, so come back for the next reaction.